Oh my, just look how dark this is. Plus that great looks like it's gonna... And the oh, sound no, design, and the way that the enemies light up more than the environment, they get, they kind of get, uh, posterized. Yeah. Uh, where, like, look, you can see, you can see, like, her coming in, like, mm, way Yeah, easy. just a little bit, yeah. It's awesome. So, it looks fucking amazing. I've been meaning to ask you something. Ask me your questions. I, I, I read a comment, like, where I was just looking up Silent Hill stuff, and just, someone was complaining, so, like... Uh, to people, I know it's a little late, this is probably part five or something like that, but don't read anything. Oh, no, no. Because this game can be spoiled. No, no, I, I don't... Utterly. Really, yeah, sure, that's a fair warning, but I just mean, in general, I saw someone just... Like, I just went on Silent Hill Messenger or whatever. Yeah. And someone just basically goes, I think the static thing ruins an element of surprise that... But then some of the people like, what are you talking about? It lets you know, like, oh, a sense of dread, something's coming up soon. Yeah. But then the other guy was like, no, I think it, like, I'd rather have an enemy just suddenly appear around a corner. And then they go, well, isn't that, how How different is that from, like, a shock, like, jump scare? Yeah, it's supposed to be creeping else. dread. It's supposed yeah. to be. Also. Okay. Yeah, that's true, too. You just I, turn I, it I off. I completely forgot about that. I don't know if, uh, I'm not super I, I, sure the if in the other games. talk about that. You can turn it off mm. um, but I know you can adjust the volume in some of them uh, yeah no just turn okay, it off okay so that guy's stupid yeah that guy's dumb he didn't talk about any Silent Hill games specifically though Jesus yeah yeah go James to, taking out these nurses with extreme go back to Macy's oh wait no I thought it was a uh, it was a uh, a mannequin I didn't see that, it was that this, is a, this is a habit I cannot unlearn from uh, Resident Evil uh, 1 and 2 where it's like going into your inventory to reload is always faster. Yeah. Because back in the day games did not have the ability they did not have a, a button you could hit that would reload it automatically. Uh, so there's the another one in that? here. that? Okay. It sounded different than the normal static. Yeah. Just a little... That was her gross noises. Yeah. Ladies, lady nurses make gross noises. Yeah. They got their, their, their enemas and their and their bidet buttons. It's like... <laughs> Uh, when I really think about it, a uh, triangle girl cross nurse is pretty hot. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. You, did you see that Tumblr, like, comic of, like, uh, Pyramid Head taking a selfie of himself and getting really depressed because when he looks at the picture, all he can see is a giant sheet of metal? Yeah. And then someone's like, oh, don't worry, you're beautiful to me. Don't worry, Pyramid oh. Head. You, you freakazoid. Um, so... We, we've we've often talked about how like it's just a fucking the biggest shame where it's like Konami just didn't get it and just oh these were a success for some reason but didn't really care and just whatever farmed it out to whoever they wanted yeah and don't really put much stock in this franchise anymore especially uh, but that I'm super glad that Siren exists and that yeah. uh, the guy that we're talking about, uh, what, Masahiro, Masahiro Ito, Ito. Uh, gets work designing more monsters. Yeah, he's escaped the mobile game hellhole. Do you, you've been saying that, but is that confirmed? Did you read about that? So, or? after Team Silent disbanded after Part 4, you stayed at Konami? where they actually went is became incredibly confusing, confusing and hard okay. to follow. Yeah, yeah. But I, I think it was Ito. I'm not super sure, but I think it was Ito. And the only one people knew that was locked down is they put the director and I think Ito on, in the MOBA J division. Oh, wow. To make like mobile games for, for girls or something. And Perfect. they were reportedly really unhappy with that. I'm shocked. But didn't want to quit. Well, yeah, it's a job. Now, the... Oh, where are they? Okay. The other way. Classic trick. Back yourself into a corner. Yeah. And look how the camera wants to fight me. I have to manually do the camera <laughs> to get a, a good look at her. Because they want it to have the character coming out through the bottom of the screen. Right, right, right. Yeah, there you go. There's a bit of music coming in. Yeah, it's a little bit. Like a little bit of metal or something. Yeah, Yamaoka has... Uh, it started to decrease as the series went on. Yeah, but, definitely. Uh, Silent Hill One has a really, really grungy soundtrack. It's I, it's it's really, really intense. I have a hard time trying to recall it. And it's because it's a lot of machine noise, like pure machine noise. Yeah, and it definitely just uh, as and uh, two had some, three had less. As he was basically like trying to eat, would just just give the same piano things. For all the later ones, and just dude, really kind dude of can piano in. like a motherfucker. Yeah, like you wouldn't fucking believe. Hmm. 
But uh, I think we only talked about on the podcast. But in case anyone's like really interested, uh, check out Project Scissors, or as it's called now, Night Cry, which is a spiritual successor to the Clock Tower series. But it's basically having an all-star like development team of like the original director of of uh, Clock Tower, yeah, like the first couple, and then uh, Masahiro Ito, the designer of Pyramid Head, uh, is designing the main bad guy in that. Yeah. And some of the cutscenes or something, or some of the promo work is being uh, directed by the guy that created The Grudge. Yeah. Like, it's fucking... It's a dream team of horror. It's a dream team of Japanese horror. So, hopefully... Hopefully. Hopefully. I mean, I think right now it's scheduled to come out for phones and the Vita. Okay. Which... Phone games can be scary. Yeah. Because they assume... Because they get to assume that you're using headphones. Sure, but you get to assume that you're squinting at a screen. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Maybe it'll have no visuals. Maybe it'll be a visual novel. I mean, no, no. Maybe it'll have no visuals and it'll just be like a black screen a for ninety adventure. percent of the time. You saw a scary so I got thing. the examination room key, but I forgot to actually go into the examination room. Yeah, it's around the around the bend. There. But I did clear out the second and third floor as of current progress completed, no matter yeah. what. And once we clear out this floor, I'm gonna save the game. Hmm. I I mean, do you even think they're gonna like? Uh, Maria, you spooky. Oof, God. Nothing I particularly interesting on that desk. Man. Hey, what's up, girl? Like, I recently, I think I told you this, I went through uh, a PT again with the missus. Yeah. And we didn't have a great time because of some bug or something. That game has just, serious gameplay problems. I, like, I would be really, really bummed out if they really made the game ooh 7335 7335 7335 I'd be really bummed out if the actual game is no, like that the reason, no way right the reason why PT has the problems that it does is because it was designed as a viral teaser first yes and and, and as and a game I like, am not even utterly convinced that that game decides whether or not you can get the ending the instant you start the game <laughs> because the fact that there is no conclusive guaranteed solution still okay. and people will complete the same events and and there's enough randomness that you can't make it oh i accidentally clicked the thing that's fine you can't make it go because i think it decides whether or not what things are going to happen cuz like i told you when i was when i was playing it again i looked out i'm like well now there has to be by like it's no. been like Four months. Nope. There has to be a, a, a fail safe. Oh, there's not? It's still like no one knows? It's really? a teaser. It's a teaser. It's a teaser. Um, but playing it again, I mean, we got scared here and there. Like, I got more scared than before because I saw new stuff. Yeah, that, that's the, so that's its strength. That's its that strength. Because of that randomness. You end up often seeing new stuff all the time. But I think at the very least when Silent Hills, if or when it comes out, what have you, was probably going to have an element of randomness. I, a little bit, but I, I, think, I, I think a carefully constructed piece of horror is, is much better. Because we don't even, like, whoa. Yeah. She's just like, just do the thing. Yeah. I'm going to help. Oof. I didn't know that you guys respawn up here. Now you do. And now I do. And knowing about nurses is half the thing of thing. Um, this game does have... It's not randomness, but it's like... If I had done that in the proper order and then saved uh, it... like I'm, yeah. These may not have spawned because I would have only had to shoot them once before going in the door. I mean, respawning enemies is always... like It has a place in certain genres. I don't think in survival horror... That's why Crimson Heads were so brilliant. Yeah. Because uh, in this case, like they're they're kind of a necessary evil because the actual area that you're dealing with in inside the hill is incredibly limited. I'm dealing with four floors of a hospital in which most of the like it's mainly uh, three floors of one long hallway. Yeah, and side point. rooms. That's mm. that's the that's ninety percent of this thing's design. Uh, when I played the could not get into the special when I played room. the the Grudge Wii game again it, when I got to the hospital level it was like just guess what a straight uh, line with a bunch of side rooms oh that noise is so like tightening ropes and you hear the gross noise before the mechanical monster so there's the there's yeah, the radio and then they they, they come in with the music bit, yeah 
Uh, the noise filter in this game, oh man, it's so, like, I can, I can show people, like, once we get a brightly lit room, I can show people what the game looks like with the noise filter off. I think it looks way, it, way worse. It, it's, uh, with the noise filter off? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, though, since we were playing Rule of Rose, I thought that noise filter on the default setting was way too much. Yeah. We could have turned it down a bit. I mean, it, it made the game have an atmospheric sort of... Like accoutrement to it, but, but for a at game the like that, time, in which you're not actually like you're dealing with su the supernatural, but it's not actually supernatural horror. No, a lot it, of it was just collecting items and talking to shit. Kids, like, so. I felt like the 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 noise filter was. I kind of feel like they were just like they, we have to have. This they didn't there. earn it. Yeah, like plus, Silent Hill earns it. Also, saying the 1930s is just like yeah, yeah, we can have a noise filter then. Yeah. The whole world in the 1930s basically had a noise filter on. Yeah, it. pretty much. So let's yeah. check out all these doors on the left. So. Brookhaven Hospital is a hospital, but it also has a uh, special treatment room and also has a large psychiatric ward as well. Yeah, I'm sure it does. It, well, not ward, but it has a psychiatric component. Yeah. Which is why when you read those things about the patients, they're often oh, talking about I mental remember, illnesses. I remember you telling me some fucked up long story about... It, it's in Downpour, where I describe yeah. how many hospitals Silent Hill has. And I was just like, no, you're making some in up. In which Brookhaven is primarily a psychiatric hospital but then was later misnamed as a general hospital, even though the Alcamilla Hospital is the general hospital. And then there's the sanitarium. Jeez. <laughs> Wait a minute. <coughs> I'm kind of tired. <laughs> it's just a hangover. You should rest. Hmm. So comfy. I'm going to go look for her. For Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. So, let's... Nothing's more comfy than this stained, disgusting bed. Yeah, so this Caught. this is uh, S3. Right, so I gotta remember that for later. Mm. But yeah, Maria's getting sick. And mm. I don't believe her for a second that that's just a hangover. I don't believe that that bed's comfy at you all. You don't hit. You don't get hit with a racking cough, followed by th the need to take your prescription pills. Usually, if you have a hangover, you have it right away. You don't. It doesn't show up. Yeah. Middle through the day. Yeah. I, so, I know. Maria's getting sick. Nice. Similarly, obviously. I like this uh, musical tone that's just sticking around now, yep. too. Now that the enemy's gone, and now that that cutscene has started. I was gonna say the. That, you asked, like, does stuff linger? Yeah. This is one of those moments where it's just it's just lingering yeah. on the moment. The lurking horror. Uh, I was also gonna say that the framing of the start of that cutscene with the camera just kind of tilting to the left, to the right, was really awesome. Yeah. Looking. Wow, this is more brightly lit. Yeah, than... so here's a good place that we can use to test the noise filter, sure. actually. So this that's what it looks like normally, and that's the wrong uh, button. I, nice. I actually nice. have to hit nice. select. No. No. Whoa. no. Whoa. I forget. It's in options. I right? actually like the thing. Uh, they, you couldn't use to turn the noise filter off. That was added in the Great Assist version. Yeah. So right let's there. turn the noise effect off. And see, now this, obviously, due to the video compression that you guys are watching it's this through, gonna be a little it's less... going to be a little less pronounced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, change the settings, please. And we're going to come out. And it looks super good, but way too clean. Way too clean. Okay, mm can you go into the, the the dark hallway just to... Look sure, I'll, I'll save the game yeah. first, and then we will go out. Because, I don't know, I think it actually just looks better overall, but let's see it in a dark area. I disagree. It's really subtle, though. Yeah, and also this is a, and if that is the case, then I would say that that's because it was built like. Look, it's too clean. It's too normal. Yeah, okay. So like, look, look at the the spot on the on the left there on the wall, and then we go into options, and we're gonna change it. Which is a bit quicker, but uh. yeah. Well, hey, man, it's a fucking PS3, system yeah. system level feature right. of like turning a, gra a game. Like, think of think of that a game in which you can actually a console game you can actually change the graphics features. It's really oh. rare. I, I think, like... Uh, Mass Effect 1 does it with its noise filter also. Uh, Saints Row lets you put... Uh, Saints Row 3 and 4 and 2. 2 like, especially. Like, yeah, okay. It looks yeah, yeah, it yeah. looks way better. It, it looks creepier. It, it looks creepier. It's more unsettling. I recently popped in Saints Row 2, and it lets you put V-Sync on and off on the console version. Uh, Bioshock weird. 1 does, does that also. Very but it rare. does not call it V-Sync. What does it call? Oh, fuck. Uh, um, not V-Sync. It, 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 not V-Sync. I think it's called Frame Rate Lock. <laughs> 
because they're like that's for dumb console idiots like me to understand what it means yeah or, or it's a, a do you want to unlock the frame rate I think it is yeah wow okay all right here we go we're at the end of the hall in one of the special treatment rooms or not special treat and we have this special. box and this blood on the wall Louis Louise I'll take care forever. of you forever forever it's my destiny so, here we are. We have a fucking box. Like this if you cry every time. So, uh, oh, eight, three. three, five, one. That's one. All right, and then there's another one. There's another one, but I don't have the code for it yet. I thought it was three, five, five, seven. But I have a lapis lazuli key. <laughs> That's a gazoon type. That's two. God, this box. It's a, it's a serious fucking box. And I got the red bull key, or the purple bull key, rather. Purple bull. All right, and that's the middle lock. I don't know. But still need the code. I thought it was three five five seven. Didn't we? See no, that no. Seven three three five was to get to the oh, third. Seven, three, three, to five. get okay, to the third sorry, wing. Yeah. And now I have the rooftop key. So next location, clearly. Anamori. The roof. <laughs> Osaka. You can barely see. Yeah, anything. it's not great. But you can see enough to act like this is this is how you should do heavy darkness in this Just actual darkness. Because my silhouette tells me where I am because of the the purpose of the light. Basically, putting the flashlight on the character is the solution. There, there's there's a game that oh well, we should kill this guy. No, it's, it's fine. Really tight. Uh, there's a game that I've tried for the last two years to get on the shitstorm, and it's been in development hell forever. It's a game called Forgotten Memories, which is the most Silent Hill-looking thing, where you play as this female... Uh, Might as well be called Quiet Mountain. Right? Protagonist, and it's got a lot of cool, cool imagery, fixed camera angles, and it's supposed to come out for iOS, Wii U, and Vita... And I contacted the developer once, and they were like, oh, yeah, it's coming along great. We're going to have a build soon. And just bug them. Go on, find them on Twitter, find them on Facebook, and say, man, Pat, we want to play your game. Because every time I look at that game, it looks really good. It has a lot of antler imagery uh, and Antler blood. imagery is really big right now. It's really hot. And they just, the, my last couple emails, the last couple months, they just never replied to it. And I really want to get it eventually. So there's almost nothing on this roof. Wow, you're not fucking kidding. Uh, but there is this diary. I thought this is just a diaper. Uh, much like a lot of effect, uh, a lot of things affect the ending, reading this diary affects the ending. Really? So let's read it. Shall we? May 9th, rain. Stared off the window all day. Peaceful here. Nothing to do. Still not allowed to go outside. Sounds like the Ouya wrote this. May 10th, still raining. Talked with the doctor a little. Would they have saved me if I didn't have a family to feed? I know I'm pathetic, weak. Not everyone can be strong. Oh. May 11th, rain again. The meds made me feel sick today. If I'm only better when I'm drugged, then who am I anyway? Wow. May 12th, rain as usual. I don't want to cause any more trouble for anyone, but I'm a bother either way. Can it be really such a sin to run instead of fight? Some people may say so, but they don't have to live in my shoes. It may be selfish, but it's what I want. It's too hard like this. It's just too hard. It's clear outside. The doctors told me I've been released, that I've got to go home. I... You can't stay here, but... The diary ends here. You don't, you don't have, have to go, go home, home, but you can't, you can't stay, stay here. here. <laughs> so that is that is a diary of somebody who was clearly committed after a suicide attempt yeah. and suffers from classic depression, feelings of worthlessness, really bad classic. feelings. I'm a, like I'm a bother either way. Is like it's it, it cuts. It's like oh, whoa, that hurts. Like would they have saved me if I didn't have a family? Yeah, stuff like that. Like just always messing with your own work. Also, it's, the fact that it's on a roof is kind of yeah, symbolic, I think. It is a little symbolic. There's yeah. a lot of... A lot of uh, and also, yeah. it's it's hammering again. Like, is it really so bad to just run away? Yeah. Is that really the worst thing in the world? Mm. Metal Net's Whoa. rusty as shit. It's falling apart. It's push it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, indeed. Oh, Christ. And he fucks you up with a great knife. Knocks you off that roof. Jeez, wasn't expecting that. So you're talking about jumping off roofs? Here. A pyramid head jumps you off that roof. For you. What? Yeah. I fell into the hospital through the third floor roof. No. Yeah. No. This, this is an outcropping on the side of the hospital. Okay. As I was going to say, if you're in the parking lot. 
Also, it looks like you're in the asylum. I am in the special treatment room. Yes. Right? Also, if uh, you would touch my controller. It's fucking rumbling. Oh, God, that's the most subtle rumble ever. Yep. Because I am you fucked, are up fucked in. Yeah. Because Pyramid Head just kicked my ass off a roof. Wow. Now, usually. Not even a full health kit. Usually, I have to make a, a statement on this. Usually, you cry bullshit when. Usually. You, when you get hurt during a cutscene. But when the fucking, like, boss the pyramid enemy head does it. Kicks you off and it, it, like. It serves a thematic purpose. It does. We read that, and then Pyramid Head kicks you off the roof and, himself. And, you know, to be fair, you have shitloads of health items anyway. Yeah. Uh, so if, like, Pyramid Head or, say, Nemesis did it, eh. Yeah. Makes sense. Pseudo free pass. That one gets a free pass for reasons that I won't talk about until the end of the game. Sure. Uh, but there is something written on the wall. In this, like, blood all over the padded walls. Which is hard. Is really threatening. 1473. 1473. Turn, turn, turn the numbers. Better not forget them. So I'll write them down here. The other one, my secret name. Mm. So now we have what is required. Uh, for the last uh, box thing. So open up that last box. Get boxy out. What? What? That's, Jeez. That's where I fell through. Okay, because that, I, I was wondering what that was. It was like a body or legs hanging or something. Yeah. And I actually completely missed three rooms. Shower room. The shower room and the examination room I'm four. I'm sure lots of fun stuff could happen there. There's a, there's a little bit of fun stuff. Now it's unlocked, though. Yeah. Before it wasn't. Before it was not. <laughs> All right. Anybody here? No. And it's like, it's this. So Shattered Memories overdid it. Shattered Memories had combat and it had non-combat. And that was the extension of walking into a room and not hearing the radio go off. Wait, Shattered Memories? Shattered Memories would have combat sections. No, it didn't. Or, or run, run yeah, danger action sections. action sections. Yeah. Uh, and sections in which yeah, you would Yeah, it, it was too much. And this, this, that's why the radio does that. Because it tells you, I'm not going to fight here. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But it does keep, but when it tells you when you need to fight. And they can do that on a room-to-room -room basis. Instead of having these giant sequences. Yeah, it's, it's like, if that was sort of taken a second look at in Shadow Memories, it'd be, like, much more up the ladder yeah. in terms of... Because, like, not, never going to complain about its story or anything like that, but... Uh, and and because compared to all the other Western Silent Hills, it's like easily the best story. Easily the best story, but yeah, the gameplay, uh, the, the but that the huge uh, but that story line. that story suffers from trying so hard to get hit the psychological aspect that Silent Hill Two did. Yeah, Silent Hill Two is a anomaly in Silent Hill. I, I in that I agree. part one, three, and four are all about the cult uh -huh. and and satanic influence. And this one has nothing to do. And with this it. one has nothing to do with it. But everyone in the West, because Silent mm -hmm. Hill Two is the best well, one. Tom Hewlett was like said that in an interview. I don't blame him though, because Silent Hill 2 is the best one. Mm. And people went crazy for it. So I got a piece of hair. Nice. Finally. That, that was the the, tr the the precious thing that was locked away to so, make that so intently. Huh. Uh, really? A piece of hair? A piece of hair. Okay. Well, I guess that makes sense if someone is really into that. Yeah. Uh yeah. Wow, just shut up, Bioslime. A little bit. So Slimer what do we got? Jizz. We got, there's something stuck in the drainage yeah. pipe. The hole's too small and I can't get my hand in there to reach you it. You need Laura. But if I had some kind of long, narrow tool. Like a piper. Or like a pipe. Or a little fishing like hook. a bent needle uh, combined with a piece of hair. Combining. Wow. When was the last time any game had combining a survival horror aspect? Literally, literally don't know. Can't think of any. Maybe Silent Hill Three. <laughs> yeah, it's been ages, and he just carefully, carefully, and it's a strand of hair. It's not a string. It's not strong. Uh, fishing for clues. I like maybe RE Four. You combine treasures. I don't know. Now I have the elevator key, which is <laughs> something that's been denied to me the entire, uh, the entire trip through the hospital it's thus far. Denied. Yeah, so that's... I have now completely explored this entire... All floors of the hospital. Okay. I've been totally explored. The only thing left... Elevator. Is the first floor. Oh, okay. Because this door was locked here. A lot of stuff was locked. And the restroom, the day room, the shower... You know, the, the pool! The, the stuff. So, wow, the garden's huge. So I'm going to go save the game. And then we're going to keep exploring the first floor. 
and using that elevator. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, if you didn't know that we were from Canada. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Evil Within playthrough and this uh, should... Oh, that's the that's not where the same room is. Uh, I was going to say that it's really infuriating if you bump into someone on the street and you say excuse me and they say nothing. It's it's not no you're supposed to you're supposed to say sorry. Like I don't even like just give me a nod, give me something. Shrug your shoulders. Shrug your shoulders. Be like ah, eh. I at least do that. If I don't feel like saying excuse me, I at least like nod or just go oh you just I just mimic something. You know what I really like to go for? Mm? Pardon. Pardon, not pardon me. Pardon. Yeah, pardon. Yeah, it's fine. It's classic. It's like ah, I'm just, yeah. it's not yeah. Remember that one time Willie just knocked a bunch of kids over and didn't say anything? Yeah. Fucking... He said, yo, I'm the biggest! Deplorable. Yeah, that's what he said. I bullied people. It was me. <laughs> I was the head bully. I told everyone. Let's head on down to the first floor. Okay. I'm sure everything will be fine down here. Yeah. So this place is way more dangerous than the... Oh. Oh, that iron lung noise. Iron lung, yeah. It's quite loud. So Laura is, uh... Doing real good for herself, all things considered. Like, uh, no, she said she was fine. This no this area is her. way more dangerous, way more dangerous than the um, than the apartments okay, and the well. street. Uh, and she seems well. She might be dead now, but yeah, I mean, because this place doesn't have like uh, you know uh, people indie fish bone nosing over guardrails. Yeah, you're right. God, I can't believe that. Oh, come on. Believe it. No. I saw it. I don't believe it. That head tracking thing is such a good solution. It really is. I mean, and also, the game never tells you that. Like, do you... You just, you just like, oh, what's James looking at? And then you eventually... And so now that he's not looking at anything... I mean, I, th I can think of maybe... I remember some other survival horror games maybe doing that. Like, aside from this one, I think. Uh, although they're not coming to my mind right now. But yeah. I remember something where I was like, hey, my character's... Keeps continuing looking at things. Mm -hmm. Maybe Zelda or something. I don't know. Oh yeah, that that well-known survival horror franchise. 